Oh, hello everyone. Have you heard about the new Pochette Toiletries 26, the new version? Have you, have you? If you are a fan of LV, I know you have, and there are already videos circulating about the new model. It's called the Pochette Toiletries. Oh no, it's not. It's called the Poche Toilet. Now, one thing to note about this, if you look on the Louis Vuitton website, it is listed under the men's section. So you will not find this in the women's SLG section of the store. You will find it in the men's travel section. Did anybody freak out when they pulled the toiletry 26 from the website? Anyone, anyone? Yeah, all of you guys freaked out. Everybody freaked out. But from what I heard, it was never discontinued. It was still available in the store, but it looks like now they are replacing the toiletry 26 with not one, but two, two new models. The one that has come out and is currently available on the website is the Poche Toilette NM, as in a new model. Now, when I first saw this, it reminded me exactly of the Pochette Voyage, which was basically the men's version of the Toiletry 26. The Toiletry 26 was originally intended to be a travel piece, hence the name toiletry, like your shampoos, your creams, your lotions. And it was seen being held as a clutch by Princess Diana. Here she is on the beach holding her toiletry 26 as a clutch. A grab and go, perfect to take on your little vacay getaway. You guys, you know, I'm gonna tell you this because I used to work there. People started to put chains on this bag to make it a crossbody clutch. And of course, Vuitton doesn't like that. They're like, no, 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 you guys. We want you to spend the thousands of dollars and buy a bag from us. <laughs> so I don't know what the last price of the Toiletry 26 was, but when I worked there, it was, it was $545. Also when I worked there, and that was a couple years ago, uh, 2019, they were discontinuing the little crossbody clutch that was called the favorite and her price point was around $1,000. Literally from corporate, this is what was told to us, the $1,000 customer price point for a handbag needs to be eliminated, and that is when they discontinued the favorite, and that is also just about when, look, the toiletry, that is when the toiletry 26 became even more popular, as something you can add a bag organizer to, add a D-ring, add a chain, whatever, snazzy it up. So this particular item was always hard to find, always out of reach, and the best time to find some of these canvas monogram pieces is always Christmas. Anyhow, so she was already out of reach, but of course, of course, I know everybody tried to find the 26, especially, especially after videos came out about converting her, and especially after everybody realized how scarce she was to find. Okay, so with that said, Foxy LV, who if you're a fan of Vuitton, if you know, you know, Foxy knows everything. And even as the client advisor, we were advised to check Foxy's Instagram every day. She knows someone on the inside. So to my surprise, of course, I uh, get a little ping on my phone. It's Ash, it looks. Of course, of course, the first thing I see when I open my Instagram is <sighs> what's coming for Vuitton in June is a toiletry with a chain. And uh, my first thought was just like, oh no, 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 no. Did they really, did they really, did the, did the product department just throw their hands up and go like, I give up, we give up, let's just give the customer what they want. So look guys, they're giving you what you want. I really want to know your opinion on this. So having worked for Vuitton, a luxury retailer, having a design background, um, they added a D-ring. Well, I see they added leather panels, but they added a D-ring and gosh, this is, it's a little lazy. I was honestly expecting a little bit more when I heard that the toiletry 26 would be updated. Um, so yeah, this is what we have now. Anyhow, let's take a look. Let's, um, let's compare, let's compare the two. So now you have two options, the Poche Toilet NM, and this one has black leather side panels. It has a black leather lining and it has four card slots. Now, like I said, when I saw this, I immediately thought of the Pochette Voyage MM, which we used to affectionately call this the men's clutchy. 
This product has been in store for a long time. It is popular as a men's clutch. The price of the Voyage is currently $1,030. The price of the new toilet is $1,080. The sizes look very similar. According to the website, the new toilet is about 0.4 inches shorter in length than the existing Pochad Voyage. However, <laughs> however, I always notice that the measurements on the website are not exactly accurate to what the product actually is. So I'm wondering if these are the same. Um, anyhow, the old model Pochette Voyage has six card slots and a microfiber lining. And what also differentiates this one from the Toiletry 26 is the leather strip across the top. And it was a little more expensive, I remember. So both of these, you know, very manly. Um, with that said, Remember, the poche toilette will be available in the men's travel section. Now, let's look at what Foxy LV posted this morning, the toiletry on a chain. Again, I just told you my reaction, like, oh my God, what, what's, what's going on here? So they've also added vachetta to the sides. Since this particular product is not on the website yet, let me see if we can find what the lining looks like. They added a gift with purchase. You get a compagnon, look like a coin purse looking thing with this. So that's good. Um, okay, so again, as a former associate, I just have to kind of chuckle about the D-ring because this is where people would come in and buy the toiletries or the cosmetic pouches and then ask if they can add a D-ring. And which, you know, once you buy the thing and leave the premises, do whatever you want as long as it's yours. One thing you have to know, anything added, or if you punch a hole, alter anything yourself, you can't bring it back to Vuitton for repair because people wanted to punch holes and stuff so they can add a chain. I'm like, do at your own risk. Just don't let me know. Covering my eyes, it's not for that purpose, but I digress. Okay, now looking at this picture, I was kind of confused because it looks like the D-ring attaches to the side panel, which is now Vachetta. Don't know if people are gonna love that or not. So they chained, uh, connects from one D-ring and then just goes to the other side to the back of the bag. So I was like, where does it go? Does it go to this D-ring that is on the end of the zipper where there's that Pachetta tab with the zipper, just like it does on the pochette accessoire? Um, because that would flip that part of the zipper up, which I think it looks, it looks a little incomplete. I would have liked to see a D-ring on the other side of the bag just so it's symmetrical, but that's just me. Um, with that said, I've looked to the next picture of the Raffia version of the toiletry, and it looks like in this picture, the chain does connect to that portion of the zipper, so it is gonna flip up. Anyhow, with that said, Okay, let's go back to the monogram. So it looks like the Compagnon, I can't tell what size it is. Uh, the toiletry used to be available in 26, 19, and 15. And those numbers describe the centimeters of the length of the product. It looks like this little Compagnon might be, it might be 15, it might be smaller than 15. It looks like about the size of the mini pochette accessoire. That too, I think they have to do that to justify the price. The new price on this, it's listed in euros at 1300, which equates to 1,760 in US dollars. Okay, so what I just said before, Vuitton was eliminating that price point for that entry level bag of a small crossbody clutch. You can still get bags like the Speedy for uh, Speedy 25 for 1,490. Toiletry on a chain at 1,760 is the same exact price right now as the Alma BB in canvas. For my money, personally, if I were buying my first piece of Vuitton, I would go for a Speedy or an Alma as they are real bags if your intention is to shop for something you would use as a bag. However, if you're going to use these as toiletries, if you have already started your bag collection and you need some accessories, that's where I would go for the toiletries. 
So what they did here was with the price point, they added the little pochette and they bumped the price way up. And that forces you, the consumer, to really think about if this is almost $2,000, I might as well enter the price point and bite the bullet and just buy a new bag. Okay, so listed with this is the Raphia version. I really like this one, actually. I think just because it's different, when you work there and you see monogram over and over, you do just kind of get numb and bored to it. But the Raphia is different. And I think also not everyone is going to have this. That's important to me. It looks like it has a black calf leather trim. The black leather trim is done very nicely as well as the circle logo with the Vuitton logo inside the circle. That looks like it's cut very nicely to me. Of course, it is Raffia, Raffia for the price of 1,490. That's pretty steep for a beach bag material. It does not look like this one has a compagnon and I wouldn't think it would have a compagnon for the price of 1,490. But I do like the look of this bag. It's definitely for a certain customer. Keep in mind, Raffia is not going to perform the same as Canvas and whether it's Raffia or Canvas, Nothing lasts forever. I personally like this bag as a clutch. I would carry it as a clutch uh, just because just my personal styling, it's a little too rectangle for me as a crossbody, but that's just me. So it looks like what Vuitton is doing here, they're giving you what you wanted. They're giving you options, they're toiletry on a chain, and they're giving you a price point that will also maybe make the new shopper think about like, let me put that money toward a bag instead. So let me know in the comments, what would you guys do? Do you like any of these pieces? Do you use yours as a toiletry, as a clutch, as a handbag? Or would you just go buy a handbag? Different people have different uses for things. And of course, if you're a collector, it's just fun to collect. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. My name's Michelle and I'll see you soon. Bye.